Rich and Jess back on the show today and talking about uh, the dad bod, talking about working out. But, you know, we're talking about eccentrics, something that a lot of people, I think, have heard a little bit about, Rich, but not necessarily familiar with what that means. What does that mean exactly? Yeah, so eccentric is just like that different portion of the lift, of the of the lift, pretty much. So everybody's right. very familiar with the up part. So right. when you squat, you like you stand up with the weight. When you bench press, you push the weight away from you. When you're rolling, you pull the weight towards you. But we don't really focus on that other aspect. So why is that important? That uh, the other so, aspect. Yes, yeah, so, the so, opposite. Yeah, the opposite. So essentially, like, controlling ourselves on the way down for a row, controlling it on the way out for a bench press, controlling it down to your chest instead of letting it just drop. That's a very overlooked area of training. We're stronger on that eccentric or that down portion. Really. And also, if we're able to utilize those muscles in that stronger portion, that leads to better, almost, not better, sorry, more injury prevention. Right. Sorry, that, that was weird to say that that way. No, no, that was good. You're not going to get hurt as, as much. Like, you, yeah, can, you can get exactly. more out of it. And as a physiotherapist, Jess, I mean, this is something I'm sure you talk to your clients about, right? The fact that, you know, every portion of the exercise that you do is, is very important. Absolutely. I mean, the, one of the biggest things we see in the clinic is people come in and say, I don't understand how I get hurt. You know, my legs are so strong, I can squat. 400 pounds and then you put right. the bar on their back and you just watch them just drop to the ground <laughs> and then weasel their way up right. and you realize your strength is a little bit dis disproportionate and the best way to stay fit overall is to have that variety in your training. Work on the upward portion as well as that downward portion. You can get a lot done just working on the downward and almost ignoring the upward for a little bit. And I promised viewers earlier today that you brought in some really unique equipment here Absolutely, this morning. Yeah. So tell me, tell me about this. What are we looking so at So this here? is called K-Box. It's okay. by a company called Eccentrics, or okay. Eccentrics from Sweden, actually. So what this, port, this equipment does is as much power as you put into it, as you push up, it pulls down with the same amount of resistance. Oh, really? So it okay. forces you to work those muscles that we often neglect and to decelerate to slow down. So what right. this does, like we just said, is it builds up a better foundation for you to prevent injuries. Because okay. a lot of, let's say, like ACL tears, like when we're playing, like, I, I, like as we're so career driven and just play sports recreationally now, right. the injuries happen more and more often just because we're like we're more sedentary and so on and so forth. So we have to train smarter. Yeah. So that's actually one of the things that we use in the academy is we kind of progress the phases in the Jota Pro Academy. So as we progress the phases to be more and more intense, more athletically oriented. So like if we're going to stop, let's say playing soccer or playing hockey, we're going to stop. That's a lot of force going this way, slowing ourselves down. Right. So that's exactly what this machine does. So Jess is doing kind of a squat variation right here. Right. So he's pushing up and it's letting him pull him down and he has to slow so, down and, and, that Yeah, weight. and so I guess he's got to, you know, take away some of that pressure, right? Because Absolutely, he doesn't yeah. want to be... It's going to be crushed like down, buried. Because right. yeah. exactly. that's where injuries can happen. Yeah, like, like, just like that. You don't want to look like that, <laughs> Jess. So, yeah, but, so. I, you know, I, I'm glad you mentioned recreational sports because for many of us, as we start to get older, we still want to continue playing those sports. But unfortunately, we don't prepare ourselves to play sports. You know, we just go out and we play the rec hockey. Yeah. We go out and we play the soccer. And then we get injured and we wonder yeah, why and we go to see someone like Jess and go, I don't know why I didn't injure. <laughs> like, did you warm up? Have you been exercising? Yeah, so sure. that you can play that sport properly. Do you see that a lot? Oh, Rich? my God. That's, that, that's one of the more common things that happens is people don't necessarily warm up well or they don't even prepare themselves in the gym or outside just sort of a movement prep, like I said, warm up right. well. And they don't recognize what good movement actually is. So that's like the foundation. So Jess, you saw there doing a squat yeah. and doing a deadlift. What's he doing here now? What does so he got here? Right now we're going after some abs, quite okay. simply, right? So we're taking a little bit different approach to training the abs, which you traditionally see. So just you could see that his ribs are pushing as far away from the, the box as possible. Okay. So essentially, I'm doing one of these. I put my hand right here and, like, don't touch my hand. So his ribs are going way back. I see. And I'm just rounding that back so he's getting those deep abs on. And what's he got on his feet there? What, what is the purpose of those? So those are those? gliders because if Oh, the gliders. Yeah, okay, so if yeah. he pushes back on his toes, which you see very often people yeah. doing, like, people doing, like, 45-minute planks, they just, like, rest on their toes. Right. So if you push back on your toes, you're going to slide. And this is another variation that you see. So Jess has his hips way tucked underneath him to get those lower abs on. Right. And the same kind of concept, he's pushing his chest up away from himself. One second, let me step in front of you. So if I sure. were to do one of these, just up. There you go. You see that difference right there? <laughs> yeah. So he had to come up, and his abs are smoking right now. We'll leave him doing this for a bit. <laughs> I know. I was going to say, Jess, you are a, a true... <laughs> <laughs> Great sport when it comes to you know working out. Yeah, with, so you really got to push show. into that, and you get those abs working a little bit more. So that's yeah. a variation people can and, use at home. And I think another thing too that, that makes this exciting for a lot of people is the fact that you can you can do you can buy equipment like this and bring it home to make your workouts less boring because people just get bored of doing the same thing over Absolutely. and over again. Yeah, right? so this is a model actually of the K box from this company Eccentric that you can buy for your house. Okay. It's very usable. It's super quick to change the the pieces and the machines, and you can do tons of different variations. It's very simple. 
And this is something you can, you'll probably see in more gyms coming up more and more. Right. It's still a relatively new tool, especially up here in Canada. But you're going to see this hit the market very soon. Nice. So this, this is like one of the first. Uh, Jess, how, does, first how do you feel? Are you engaged? Thanks for a great seat as well. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. You sit down Just and relax, case. and we'll be back with more right here on Breakfast Television. <laughs>